Hi everyone, welcome to our wonderful YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix an issue with your Docker. So let's say you install Docker on your computer, Docker desktop for your computer. Right now I'm using uh, VMware, which is a uh, VM uh, Fusion on my computer. Okay, so when you try to run the Docker, you might get this error that says uh, Docker stop, then Docker desktop starting. Then after a few seconds, an error will pop up. I'll show you guys on how to fix this if you're using uh, VM because most most people try to use VM running um, Docker on their computer. Um, so I'll show you guys how to fix it. Um, I'll just wait for the error to pop up. Hopefully I can skip this video um, and we can show. So now you might get this error. You might get this error that says, you know, fail to deploy distro Docker. You know, it will just show you app, there, app data, local, whatever error you're getting, the easiest way to fix it, all right? The easiest way, I've looked on different tutorials, I've watched different tutorials, but they've not been able to fix it. The easiest way is to fix this. Then any error you're getting from Docker, the easiest way is to go to, in your search bar, type in turn Windows features on or off. You click on it. Once you click on it, you want to make sure uh, the next frame, you know, 3.5 is selected. Then you want to make sure that Hyper-V is selected. This right here, you want to make sure Hyper-V is selected. Um, then you also you want to make sure that in a few seconds let's do it. you want to make sure that your virtual machine is selected so once this is selected let me see what else we need to then also you need to make sure that windows subsystem for linux is selected so once that is selected you click on ok that fix the feature then one of the most important thing we need to do you can quit, you know, it's fine. Close it out. Then you turn off. You shut down your Windows machine, all right? Because we on a VM. I'm using VM right now. That's why I'm getting that error. And also most people use VM. So you shut down your VM. Once you shut down your VM, then you navigate. I'm using my Mac right now, so but I'm installed. This is VM. You can see this is VMware Fusion. I call it Fusion. Then you go to the settings. Once you go to the settings, you click on processor and memory. So once you click on processor and memory, you click on advanced option. Then you click enable hypervisor application in this virtual machine. This allow you because uh, Docker is all about um, hypervisor containerization. If I'm wrong, you can correct me, and you can exit once you check this click on exit and then we can run our windows uh back we can start up our windows let's give it a few seconds for this to turn on and we can try to run docker and the reason why i'm showing this is because i've watched a couple of videos on youtube and i've not been able to see like a solution so i decided to come up with a solution and uh, i would show you guys more whatever i encounter through my journey of you know i'm a solution architect and whatever i, I encounter i will show you guys when it comes to tools um okay let's see i'm just starting this up i don't know why i even use my name but that's fine uh let's see let's give it a few more seconds and it will load up i hope this is a quick tutorial and hopefully you can share with your friends um like subscribe and we just try so this is it now it's open up and um, i just need to click on my docker all right see i just want to the docker let's give it a few seconds to load up give it a few seconds come on docker
Let's give it a few seconds. Come on, Docker. Yes. All right. Now, Docker, you you might see this. Docker desktop stop. Just give it a few seconds. It's going to start running. Docker desktop starting. And you will see we will not get that error anymore. And just watch. I know some people tell you to to go into or oh, go to debug or go to debug. Let me click clear and purge data. No, that does not work. It's not going to fix it. The only thing that will fix it, I just told you guys, is going, if you're using VM, if you're using whether it's Oracle VM you're using, whether it's uh, VMware Fusion, whatever VM you're using, you need to enable that virtualization. All right. Um, so let's give it a few more seconds and we can we can see. Let me open up my, my terminal. So see, I call it terminal because I'm used to my. Uh, let me open up my CMD, my command line. And come on. So CMD. All right. So to confirm if Docker is installed. So let's see. It's still loading. So let's give a few more seconds. It's saying Docker cannot find. Let's give you a few more seconds. Let's start to start running. So let's just give a few more seconds. All right, now we have Docker running. You can see this is Docker running right here. All right, I think I expanded too much. Let me minimize it. Yes. All right, so this is Docker right here. All right, we can test if Docker is running. Docker, yes. All right. Now we can see that we have Docker running. This is Docker ID, image, command, create. You can see we have no process running right now. Just to see, there should be. There's not running. Okay. And thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this helped you and fix um, any issue you have with Docker. If you have any question, ask me. We can share knowledge. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.